station you count on for local news that matters. This is KARK4 News. A nationwide search for a kidnapped North Carolina girl ends in Arkansas. A shootout between Lone Oak police and the man investigators call a possible predator. Tonight, the suspect dead, a teenage girl safe, and a Lone Oak officer shot. This is uh, something that we never want to happen. The case timeline. The man behind the badge, a town in disbelief. He is a hero for that. Live team coverage begins now. Good evening. I'm Hunter Hoagland. We have teams covering multiple angles for you tonight. Katrin Asaf is live in Low Oak where it all happened, but we begin with breaking news anchor Mitch McCoy. He's been in contact with his sources all day long. Mitch, is, this is something that started as an Amber Alert on the East Coast. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Hunter. Good evening to you and good evening, everyone. That young girl is safe tonight, but the urgent search to bring her home started more than a week ago, and you can see it has spanned multiple states. Troopers say it all came to an end with a shootout last night between the apparent kidnapper and Lone Oak police. It's a case that started February 11th, nearly 800 miles away. Family and friends searching for the 14-year-old girl from North Carolina who were not identifying because troopers say she's the victim of a child abduction. It was Saturday night in Arkansas when law enforcement learned the suspect in the kidnapping, 38-year-old William Ice, was traveling along I-40. White male that has threatened suicide by a cop. He's going to have the victim is going to be a 14-year-old female. They left Haven approximately 10 minutes ago. Lone Oak officers searching for ICE's truck found it parked at the McDonald's near Dee Dee Lane. Authorities say when ICE started to get out of the truck, he opened fire, shooting Lone Oak police officer Cody Carpenter. Another Lone Oak officer returned fire. We deal with tragic and tragedy uh, often uh, when it hits home. It, it really hits home hard. Arkansas State Police chased ice down the road where his truck got stuck in snow. The driver's not complied with anything I've said. I don't know if he can't hear me or what. Troopers say ice had shot himself, the young girl running free from the car before she was in the hands of state police. If you can secure, secure her in your car where she can be safe and warm. ICE was wanted in two different states, including Pennsylvania, where police connected him to other child predator cases. We're learning the teenage girl was using a school-issued computer to communicate with ICE using multiple online platforms. Hunter. Mitch, thanks so much.